Okay. It just told you that I'm recording, right? Yep. Okay, good. It's 2024. Wait, I wasn't looking at the camera. Okay. It's 2024 and crap. Hang on. It's 2024. We all survived and fingers crossed it's going to be a great year this time. But the biggest and most important question at the forefront of everybody's mind is, hey, Destin Terry, what are the top interior design trends for 2024? And today, that's exactly the question we are going to answer. And I'm going to share with you my top five interior design trends for 2024. And then I'm going to give you my top five interior design trends for 2024. So we haven't shared our list with each other, so it's going to be interesting to see if there's any overlap or if we're going to butt heads on a few things. All right. With that said, Desta, you go first. First on my list for interior design trends for 2024 is mindful spaces. Applying function and making choices in and around our home that feed our mind, body, and soul is key for 2024 and actually beyond as well. This means incorporating plants, natural materials, creating a little zone to do your yoga or a reading nook. Also, be mindful of taking these principles outdoors like a home garden. It's funny you should say that, Desta, because my first trend for interior design in 2024 is biophilic design. So biophilic design kind of ties right into that because it is about bringing natural elements and creating and establishing a connection to nature. Just like you had said, the plants and the gardens, you could even on, in the indoors have like a living wall, but it's also about using natural fibers in fabrics and uh, your decor. I feel like this stems from us all being quarantined for so long during COVID that we're all longing for this reconnection back to the outside and to nature. I'm not one of those people. I like to be indoors, but I get it. Yes, I love it. It also correlates and marries actually what I was just talking about for mindful design as well. Next trend for interior design 2024 are rooms. Rooms are making a comeback. So don't worry if you already have an open concept, keep on living and keep on trucking on. But I think now more than ever, especially we're being more mindful of how we spend our money in our spaces. It's okay to maintain rooms within your home and just make what you have work. Also, because of COVID, I think now more than ever, people are working at home. It's more permanent, more than ever as well. So now we're trying to find those dedicated spaces for things like a home office. That's on my list as well. Woohoo! Yeah, that's one of my picks for interior design in 2024, is rooms or the slow elimination of open concept. And when I say the slow elimination, I mean, because I'm seeing that it's creeping back in that people are missing their walls and somewhere to hang your art and to lay out your furniture, by the way, because open spaces are beautiful, but what a pain in the ass to put a floor plan in. One easy way to start this process is with room dividers. And I don't mean like solid wall room dividers, ones that you can actually see through. Doing this will help to define spaces and separate them into, hey, this is where I hang out and watch TV. Oh, but over here is where I hang out and sleep. My next trend for interior design in 2024, bold color and pattern. For the past few years, we've been using nothing but grays, neutrals, whites, and blacks, which is just fine. But I think we're all looking for some life and vibrancy. My favorite way to do it is with wallpaper and oversized patterns and lots and lots of color and boldness. And to piggyback on that, murals, I can't say it. Murals. Murals. M murals. Murals. Have you ever done that before where you say a word so many times that yes. it doesn't sound like the word anymore? Yes. That's starting to happen. And to piggyback on that, murals, you that's how you react. That's your reaction. Because you okay. can because you can say murals. <laughs> murals. Okay. Am okay. I say am I saying it weird? Murals. 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 I feel like I'm not saying it right. Anyway. And to piggyback on that, murals are making a huge comeback. I was just going to say, but don't be such a about it. <laughs> <laughs> At least somebody can say murals. I agree. And just to piggyback on that, murals are... No, I can't <laughs> say the word. I agree. And just to piggyback on that, murals are making a huge comeback this year as well. My next trend for interior design 2024 is handmade items. This includes actual handmade items or at least items that look handmade. So think irregular, imperfect lines. I've been noticing that a lot as well. Like uh, things like Etsy is a great place to find stuff like that. Everybody keep in mind, there's a difference between handmade and homemade. Homemade, no, no, no. Handmade, yes. Another trend of mine for interior design in 2024, color drenching. This is another uh, buzzword. I just actually, I've always known what this is, but I've never heard it called color drenching until recently. And I really like, I like the term. This is when you paint your trims, your walls, your ceiling, everything in one color. That could be off-white, 
It could be, let's say, the peach that, uh, oh, I was trying to remember the name of the, um, peach fuzz, peach Pantone. Fuzz. Pantone. Peach fuzz Pantone, Pantone. Okay. This is when you paint all your trims, your walls, and even your ceiling all one color. This could be doing it all off white, or maybe you use the new color of the year for 2024 from Pantone, Peach Fuzz, and paint everything in one tone. One tone with Pantone, yes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> one tone with Pantone. One tone with Pantone, monotone. <laughs> You and I are so in sync because I was going to say the exact same thing. Really? Yes. So I've been doing this for a while now, but I didn't even know that there was a proper term for it. Neither. Just color drenching. Okay, so now I've adopted a new word for that. And I love it because I'm so tired of seeing that white strip of baseboard and the white trim around the doors and the windows and all of that. And another tip too, is that you wanna make sure if you're gonna do everything the same color, just make sure that you're using the right paint finish for Very those important. spaces, right? So you wanna use something maybe with like a semi-gloss or a satin for your trim work and then like a mat for your walls or like a wash mat for your walls see i had heard recently somebody saying that like as one of these people saying these are the trends coming out right now using eggshell on the walls instead of using matte going forward that they were tired of flat and matte walls i still like the matte flat what do you think i still love matte especially in older homes too right where you have imperfections in the walls yeah. you don't want to be putting the eggshell on it and now with the technology where you do have that washable scrubbable mat you no longer have to use eggshell because that was the benefit right where you would just rub stuff off if you had whatever on the walls rub one out exactly yeah who yeah. was was it you that told me about the client that had all the the kid had put all the burgers on the wall was it you that told me that story <laughs> yes okay yeah we were renovating a home and there was a child <laughs> A smoke he was probably maybe 10 years old and so we were renovating his bedroom and before we could actually start painting we had to take those what are they paint uh knives or um, the scraper the dry drywall knives yeah to scrape the boogers off the wall so and it was there was like a pattern beside his bed so you could you could you like in your head you realize the whole story right you could just imagine this kid he's lying in bed and he's flicking his boogers from his bed and it was just like all over the side of the wall <laughs> so gross and they think tv and being a designer is you know so fancy oh it's a glamorous life isn't oh, it isn't it it's so glamorous my next trend for interior design 2024 is spaces with personality terry this kind of also pops in with what you're saying with color and stuff too don't be afraid to have your space reflect who you are don't worry about what everybody else is doing necessarily just make sure that your space is a reflection of who you are and what you love guess what what this is on my list too yes nice i'm telling you dude right here we, we got our we got our noses to the ground is that the saying oh no uh, sorry nose, e ears to the ears to the ground ears to the ground we're in sync in in sync <laughs> bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye. I love this. This is what I base almost every design that I do on. In my opinion, when somebody you know walks into your home, your home should look like look like you. It should. Yes. Somebody should walk in. If you weren't home and your friends or family came in, they should walk in and, and didn't know that you lived there. They'd be like, "Oh my God, this looks like Dusta lives here. Is this Dusta's home?" Like they, that's in my. That's what it should look like. I that, agree. Yes. How do you do this, you ask? Well, upcycling is also a huge trend. So take that old dresser that has no life to it, paint it, put some really fun hardware on it, and now you've personalized your old item. And by the way, it doesn't mean that it has to be bright and colorful and crazy. If your personality is vanilla, if you like minimalist, if you like all monochromatic white with nothing on any counter, that's your personality, dude, go for it. Well, there you have it. There are our 10 trends for interior design in 2024. And make sure you keep an eye out for our video on trends that we no longer want to see brought into 2024. Now that one should be interesting. Right?